Hagen. Moist. Ah, yes. Mr. Moist Critical himself, a.k.a. Charlie, a.k.a. Penguin Zero, a.k.a. the owner of the second best independent wrestling outfit that exists. Uh, by the way, Charlie, uh, you, you think the Moist Wrestling League has some? Dude, nah. Here's some highlights from UCW. Yeah, we're about that life. Anywho, yeah. Yes, you're editing this one. Yes, I, I'll be editing this one. So, so I don't have access to it. So. It's okay. I, it's fine. Honestly, I I enjoy I enjoy making those highlights for them sometimes. Uh but now that they've got a like an editor and everything, they're they're just doing their they do their damnedest. And it's it's great, dude. Every show I go to, they always do something different. They're always trying something new. I get hit in the back with a chair. I get in the head with a chair. Yeah, I got hit in the head with a chair at the last show. Yeah. Just that. keep finding new ways to hit me with chairs. Yes. Well, the first one... Dude, I'm still pissed off about the first time I got hit with a chair. Got hit in the back. It sounded like a gunshot went off. It sounded so good, and nobody got it on camera. Nobody. I am still mad about that. But oh well, it is what it is. And uh, as for me getting hit in the head, yeah, he hit me in the head, but he also hit me on the elbow pretty hard too. But I've, I've had worse. I've been kicked in the head, I've been thrown out the ring, I've been I've been booted in the face. It happens. Yeah. So, we're not here to talk about the Moist Wrestling League yet. Uh, we're on to you, Charlie. Hey, Let's have let's have a let's have a face to face. Your champ against our champ, K Holiday versus oh gosh, who's who's your champ again? I forget, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I I I'm not. I don't mean to talk shit Way about. Out. Yeah, I don't mean to talk shit about Charlie's wrestling organization. I'm just trying to build drama. That's it. I'm just trying to build up drama. And if you're interested in uh, like co-running shows, we run them in Asheville, dude. And we draw big crowds, like four or five hundred people a night. Or a night we run them. Uh, anyway, so yeah, the craziest husband ever, at least according to Charlie. Um, I think I heard a little bit about this. Uh, this dude went off his rocker about, he got jealous, of, I can't remember what he got jealous over, but apparently he got so jealous over like some minute bullshit that he basically divorced his wife and just, just like his wife in order to prove to everyone how ridiculous he was being, posted all this shit online. Like, she posted everything that he was mad about. Now, I haven't read it or anything like that, so I guess we're going to see what it's all about. But Charlie covered it, and I figured, hey, might as well uh, see what old, Char uh, what old Charles in charge has got to say. You know, I've seen some dudes do some crazy stuff, so if this is the craziest... I would too. Better not at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, this this can't be anything too dark because you know Charlie's going to be trying to monetize this. But I guess we'll see. He covers some pretty crazy stuff sometimes. I I can too. But all right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Charlie, what you got? These are without a doubt the craziest text messages I've ever covered, and I know that might be hard for some of you to believe considering all of the wackos we've gone over, but trust me, this takes the cake of lunacy. They are so outrageous that I at one point threw my hands in the air and said, enough is enough, fiddlesticks, this is fake. It has to be fake. It's too ridiculous. So I did a little bit of digging and it seemed other people also thought that they might be fake. So after going through the evidence they compiled, it turns out that this is most likely real. The person that these posts seem to originate from actually did show up apparently in some court documents confirming a divorce. So from what I can tell here, it does mm. seem like these are real and the story here is legitimate, which is so 
fucking sad. And the man in these messages needs to be confined to Arkham Asylum ASAP. Dude needs his own personal padded cell, and you're about to see why. All of this oh. hoopla starts because a mother breastfed her child. The husband says, you've been breastfeeding? You know how I fucking feel about that. She replies, what okay, time are you coming it, back? Wait, what the fuck? I don't know if I Wait, why are you mad at me? Yes, what a, okay. He says, I don't know if I am. She says, why are you mad at me? Yes. What did I do? It's just the breastfeeding? That. The feelings it gives me and how I finally understand that you truly don't respect me. And she what? says, I do respect you. I just thought we could compromise about the breastfeeding. Talk about it. If you don't like seeing it, maybe I can just do it in a different room. Weirdo's mad because the mother of his child is breastfeeding that child. Is there a worse possible reason on this planet what? for anger? I can't think of a single reason any sane human being would be upset about something like that. Unless it's like some kind of crazy <laughs> situation like, Hey honey, I just got some phone calls from some concerned parents. Apparently you tried to breastfeed our son Jericamo at the football game. He's 15 years old. Maybe it's about time we wean him off of that. We're scaring the other parents here. But yeah, this, that'd be a bit they're much. They're talking about a newborn baby. She's still in the hospital with the newborn. He continues, well, we didn't talk about it. You just did it. And it's not about seeing it. I know it's happening. I'm done. Done? Let me know when you're being discharged and I'll be there. Like, you're divorcing me? You go behind my back and do something I've stressed about not doing. That's no different than lying and shows how little you respect me. I wasn't meaning to disrespect you, I just wanted to give Wilder breast milk since he was born early and I- Okay, first off, don't name your fucking kid Wilder, especially spelling it like that. Like, you've already, you've already just like shown yourself to be an irresponsible parent just by doing that. Also, this guy getting upset that his wife is breastfeeding, has he never, does he not understand, like, how, like, breastfeeding works and how, like, mother's milk is, like, is, like, paramount to, like, the development of a child? I know it's the best thing for him with the antibodies and other stuff he'll get from it. The only thing wilder than that name is the husband's brain-rotted brain. Absolute delusion here to be making a huge stink about her breastfeeding a newborn. So, the name Wilder, and you're about to see they actually have another child named Hunter, spelled with a Y, those- Why? H Hunter? H-U-N-T-Y-R? Hunter? Uh, clearly the dad who was fucking batshit probably came up with the names. Wilder. Hunter. Like... Oh my god. That hurts my brain and I don't like it. It's like, what are you, like, Norse or something? <laughs> yeah, it was like... It, it, did you, like, did you lose a bet to somebody? And you have to name your children with... To have a Y in their name? Otherwise, you'll owe someone $10,000? What is it, bro? Two names really set off my bullshit alarms. Like, it, it was really giving me the heebie-jeebies of this is fucking fish paste. This is baloney. But again, from what I've seen with what people have found, because the original poster and everything, people did a lot of super sleuthing from what's been put out there, it does seem like it's legitimate. He continues mm. his rampage saying he's not a preemie, he was born at full term, it's still unneeded, he's still bigger than I was when I was born and you could have always asked the nurses for a pump. It's a proven scientific fact that breast milk is no better than modern formula. No. No, that's, that is scientifically inaccurate and that is been, has been proven so many times that breast milk is much better than just formula. He's wrong about that, by the way. Modern formula, formula is fine for women that don't want to breastfeed or can't. I decided to yeah. fact check that claim, do a little research on it. Turns out it's not a scientific fact. You know what is a scientific fact, though? That this man is clinically insane. So yeah. keep in mind, I am not a breast milk scientist. I, I'm not a connoisseur of boob juice. I'm not the <laughs> lactation lord. <laughs> But from oh my God. the bits and pieces I read Charlie. about breast milk versus formula, it seems that breast milk is still the most recommended way of getting nutrients to your baby, if possible. She says, I know, but the benefits of the breast milk still outweigh the formula. Latching helps drop the milk better than the pumps. 
He says, yeah, the benefits to where I'll never be able to look at you the same way again. She's confused as everyone listening and reading this is right now, scratching their head, wondering what the fuck is wrong with this weirdo. She says, what do you mean? You think I'm a bad mom for breastfeeding? And he says, I think you're a bad wife. I think you don't respect me. I think you took a joy away from me. I think a lot of things. Took a joy from you? I don't understand what you mean. Formula can still be uh -oh. used. And this is where he- Oh. Uh, now they've been in another man's- Oh my god. This from a... Your newborn child is not a man. Yeah. That makes no sense. You know- this rem okay, we watched an Ace Ventura clip not too long before. That reminded me of the one scene where the dude squashes the roach in front of Ace, and he's just like, "Homicide, Ventura. How are you gonna solve that one?" <laughs> and Ace is just like, "Well, first I'd establish a motive. The uh, perpetrator saw the size of the bug's dick and became excessively jealous." <laughs> And then I'd spit... Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, this dude is so insecure that he sees his infant child as competition for his wife's jahoobs. Are you serious, He's dog? Saying it's incestuous. Oh, okay, here's the thing. Like, that right there is that like is a your fault. fucking red flag. That is your fault. That, that is like that, that is not are, on the mother. That you that's on you. Fucked the in fact the head. that yeah, the fact that you are seeing it that way, that's what's fucked up. If that's see, not on her. That's not on the baby. If you see breastfeeding you. is sexual, you're the fucked up person. Exactly. This guy's obviously been on some like fucked up like like lactation websites or some shit like that. He drops the bombshell. He reveals where all of this anger and hostility comes from. I enjoy your boobs. Now Ugh. they've been in another man's mouth. I now no longer enjoy your boobs. He goes Neanderthal mode. Boob sucked by baby. Boob no good to me now. No want tit no more. His own child he views as competition because his newborn son suckled his mother's bosom so for stupid. milk. The most natural thing throughout human history. And somehow this psychopath thinks that his newborn has now tainted his wife's boobs and he can no longer enjoy them. Saying that they were in another man's mouth. Wait until he finds out where that baby came from. Because that baby came out of his wife's vagina. Well, actually, right. I guess that's not true. I bet there is a non-zero chance that this unhinged maniac forced his wife to get a c-section so that way her vagina wasn't ruined by another man i bet there's actually a really high likelihood that that's exactly what happened oh my god and that's scary this dude is so fucking red pilled he won't even let his own newborn son touch his wife's body i bet he also wouldn't even let his wife change their son's diapers because he views them as competition he'd bust into the room i know what you did bitch you looked at another man's wiener when you changed Wilder's diaper, didn't you? He just starts profusely crying. Uh. Probably calls her like a cheater or something if she changes their son's diapers. This guy is so mentally unwell, I was stunned. Like I said, I it's couldn't like, believe. It's like, you know, my whole life I've been like a huge, huge supporter of the First Amendment. And yes. And speech. And this is like the first guy that's made me question free speech. Well, no. It's like, just, I, we need to make an exception to where if you say shit like this, they put you in a hole. Well, here's <laughs> the like, thing. like, you're clearly, it, like, unhinged to the point where you're a danger to yourself and others. Well, here's the thing. If not for freedom of speech, we wouldn't know this about this guy. If we would... We wouldn't know that this guy's well, like exactly, freaking but I mean, it's regard. like, people should be free to say this kind of stuff so that we can then put them in a hole. Yeah. This guy needs to be crusaded pronto. It's like you should be allowed to say it, but you shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. Agreed. Eve, this was real. She tries to talk sensibly to him. Just Wilders, not another man. Their baby, their actual baby Goo Goo Gaga infant is who we're talking about here. Not a man. He views an actual, like, two-day-old as a man? What the fuck? But anyway, he says he's a male and your son. 
That makes it incestuous in my eyes. And she says, it's not like that at all. And then he goes, I'm not saying anything I haven't told you before. So this man was probably riddled with red flags for a long time in this relationship, and now he is just breaking, just melting down. That's definitely one of the most unhinged yeah, things I've probably honest, ever like, if this dude had this conversation with this lady before now... The fact she's still with him, yeah, like, baffles she me. she fucking still had a kid with him, like... I kind of am starting to lose uh, a little bit of... Uh, Empathy. Yeah, I could see that. Ever seen anyone try and say that breastfeeding your own child is incestuous? There are so many things wrong with that. I don't even know where to begin. Yeah. It is so shockingly stupid. Yeah. This guy needs to be put away. Exactly. He needs I agree. To exactly. I'm glad I'm not the only one that fills this way. I felt that way, too. I mean, like, honestly, like this guy's out of himself as a freak. He needs to be put away in a mental hospital. Or prison. Or just, like, shot to the edge of the universe. With him just crossing his arms, just being like, well, at least like I'm not going to see be... my, my wife suckle be suckled by another man. Yeah, I feel like this kind of behavior should be considered criminally insane. <laughs> yes, I think so, too. Be in institutionalized. Yes. ASAP. Dude must think that all the days pre-baby formula, so, you know, the thousands of years BF before formula, it was all just incest with people breastfeeding their newborns. Oh this guy God. is so dangerously disconnected from reality, it is scary. He is a loose cannon on the edge that is snapping. I'm going to spoil a little bit here and just let you know, he divorces his wife over her breastfeeding their child. That's kind of what I figured. Can you... Just let that marinate for a second. Sit and stew in it. That the legal is... system should not allow that. No. It's like I thought you had to give a good reason for a divorce when you. Well, oh, here's the thing. The it goes back to the Chris Porter, the "Are you shitting me?" rule. Mm. The judge, when looking at this, be like, "You're divorcing your wife because what?" She's like, "She let another man suckle on her suckle on her boobs." It's like, wait a second. By another man, which man do you mean? It's like. He's sitting right over there, Your Honor. The baby? Is is that another another man's baby? He's like, no, that's my son, but he's a man, and that's his mother, therefore it's... it's a, the judge would then, like, slam the gavel down and just be like, Sir? I'm going to give you approximately ten seconds to gather your shit, because I'm going to call the bailiffs in here, they're going to they are going to tackle you. They are going to throw the hooks on you very roughly, and then they are going to escort you to the nearest mental institution where you can realize what you are saying is one of the most insane statements that has ever been muttered by a human being in the history of mankind. I hope the judge had the good sense to make him pay shit tons of child support to her. Oh least. yes. Fleece his at here's the thing. I am usually like like I have my, my qualms about you know, the child like child support and all that in this in this country because here's the thing about child support. The government gets a huge chunk of that every time you write a check. Mm -hmm. Every single time. This is one of those rare occasions where I'm just like, I'm fine with that asshole paying child support. Fuck him. Insane. That is crazy. Does let me pose a question to this individual. I, I blanked out his name, but I really want to call him by name. But I'd love to pose a question to him. Does he realize how fucking degenerate this is and how much of a pervert you must be to view a newborn baby as a man that is a competition to you? And it's not even, like, a random baby either. Not like that would make it excusable. <laughs> like, anyone who would go out there and view a baby as competition because they're getting breastfed is very fucked in the head. But this is another level of fucked because it's yeah. his own child. He fucking blew that load into the world. This is his DNA in there. And he immediately views it as some kind of, like, sexual competition with his own kid. That's so weird. He is a menace. He is a menace. She leaves out some of the conversation here. I imagine it got way too personal with some of the information that was conveyed. 
but it starts here saying, I wasn't playing. She says, I know. You are a bitch for making matters worse. I'm sorry you feel that way towards me. I doubt they're going to let me bring you all home, so good luck finding out or figuring out a way to make that happen. I just felt it would be okay to breastfeed Wilder and we could compromise a situation where you don't have to be in the room. You don't get it. I told you that with Hunter. Huntier. The way Hunter is spelled is so peculiar. Again, that's what really like made me put on my fedora and do a Reddit deep dive on where this picture came from, who posted it, and if it was real, because these two names really just make it seem like it's, it's like rage bait or some kind of joke. But again, like it's there is quite a bit of evidence that points to it being legitimate. He continues, That was a compromise you made then, and I still feel the same way about it. After you heal and get on your feet and are able to afford your own place, move out. Until then, no matter how long it takes, the bedroom is all yours. I'll set up an air mattress in Wilder's room tomorrow. Letting this fungus anywhere near their child seems like a recipe for disaster. Yes. He already views Wilder, his newborn son, as competition. Him staying in the same room as Wilder, I think, is just a terrible, terrible idea. Because it really does seem like he thinks that his wife has cheated on him now by breastfeeding their son. Like, he's calling her, like... You should like, be a registered sex offender just for that mentality. Just for that thought alone. You know, disrespectful, doesn't have any respect for him and what he wishes, because he told her not to breastfeed, because now he can't enjoy her boobs anymore. It's all just ruined. It's all kaput. How selfish of him. Jesus Wilder Christ. was breastfed by her. So I really think having him anywhere near these kids is a bad idea. Fuck you, we're done. I'm going to talk to a lawyer about 50-50 custody because no matter how much I hate you, I would never keep the boys from you. You can stay at the house for as ever long as you need. I'll sleep in Wilder's room. I'm gonna pause right there. You absolute goober. You goofball. You really think that you would get 100% of custody here? He's like, okay, since I'm such a benevolent saint, I will grant you 50-50 custody of our kids. No, any judge with a sane, like, uh, here's the thing, even in insane circumstances, for instance, I have a friend, he's got two kids, Th like, he is hard work, the, the father, like, he, the father of these kids, him, he is hard working, has a job, makes more than enough money to take care of his kids, has no priors, no previous arrests, no nothing. His ex-wife is a drug addict, a, a like, just abusive person, a whore, literally. I mean, she's fuck. I, I think he kept count. She, like, after, like, he found out that she fucked around on him once, he caught her in the act. She was just like, oh, yeah, watch this. She then proceeds to go out and fuck, like, seven other men while they are still married. After he caught her with the one. Just because she felt like she, like, she felt like she had to do that. And then, not only that, but she is, she's deliberately abusive against her own children. She was granted, like, full custody of those kids for the first two years after their divorce. Then when she got arrested again and couldn't take care of those kids, then the judge was like, well, I guess we better do shared custody. You know, it's like... What the actual fuck? I know. I know. And then... Like, he did it. He did everything he could to like get can, like full custody of those kids because he loves those kids. He does. He loves those kids entirely. Sounds like he's got a shit fucking lawyer. Well, no, it's because the system's played against him. Because the woman in the relationship, the mother, is producing zero in terms of income. She can't hold a job. She spends all of her money on drugs, and she's and she has no savings. The like the father, in the other hand, has a stable job makes plenty of money, has a good savings account, and is responsible and everything like that. So... If that doesn't tell you the system is busted as shit, then I don't know. Well, of course, because the government wants their money. That's it. The government wants their money. And the judge ruled that he has to pay X amount in child support. Otherwise, otherwise he can't see those kids. And that's bullshit. But, he, but the thing about it is... This guy is being optimistic and saying, well, I'm going to give you 50-50. It's like, no, the judge is going to hear your insane arguments as to why you're getting divorced. 
He's going to contest custody from you. Basically say, you're not allowed to ever see these kids again. And even though you're not allowed to see these kids, you still have to pay child support. So, enjoy that. Even though I hate you... At least you, if it's a decent you judge, you would. But it's, there's a lot of shit judges out there, too. So. Yeah, we'll see. See them sometimes, you dis disrespectful harlot. Brother, I'm going to give you the truth here. Brace for the cold water. Here it comes. If anyone, especially a lawyer, saw these text messages as well as the threats that the hospital was made aware of, you would never be around these kids. Rightfully so. It's unsafe to have them around you. You are deranged. You are absolutely fucking filthy. Yeah. So I don't know why he thinks he would get 50-50 custody like that'd be his call to make. He replies to something she said that isn't in these screenshots. She said, They made a report because of what happened the first night I stayed in the hospital. I'm guessing he exploded then too about something. And he replies saying, Not what they said. They didn't know anything about last week. They said because you told them this morning you didn't feel safe with me in the room and wanted me to leave. And she says, I just didn't want to fight over me breastfeeding. Fuck you. I told you when we fought over it with Hunter, I would leave you if you did it. This has been like his worst nightmare, wow. having a child that gets breastfed. This has to be, with no exaggeration, the most insecure man on the planet. Bar none. Yeah. No one else would even come close. He is so insecure that he worries that his own flesh and blood is a threat to him because they get breastfed by his wife. Wow. So again, this is so over the top that I questioned its authenticity. And it, as sad as it is, it seems like it's real. And he, from what I can see, was the one to start pushing forward, like, the divorce. Like, that's the best thing for the mother and her children, 100%. Wow. And I'm sure she'll realize that down the line. It's probably very difficult right now. But, man, yeah. this guy is bad news. There's no reason she should what? stay with somebody that's that fucking deranged. Yeah, exactly. This guy does not deserve to be around those not even kids. Even if it's for the kids, because he's not going to do anything for those kids. No, he's he doesn't not. Need to be near them. What a terrible piece of shit! I just had to talk about these. I was blown away by what I was reading yeah. going through this. I just had to share it. That, Very that's much. really about it. Awful situation. I'm wishing the best for the mother and the kids here, and. I, the best thing that can happen with this guy is he gets put in a straight jacket and goes somewhere far, far away. Because mm -hmm. I don't know how you even fix that perspective. This guy is so lost in the sauce, there is no getting him back. There's just, yeah. it's insalvageable. So yeah, that's really about it. See ya. Damn. Jesus. Well. I don't even know what else to add to that. I, dude, here's the thing that I'll say. Here's what I'll add to it. I hope that guy never finds happiness. I hope that I hope that he has nightmares about about his wife basically just leaving him over and over and over again. And I pray that the wife and the kids find a good, a great place. Find so she finds someone who loves her for who she is and and isn't intimidated by her breastfeeding her own children. I, there's a there's a meme going around. It's like brother, ooh, brother, ooh. It's like hearing that dude being insecure about his own child, his own son breastfeeding. I'm just like brother, ooh, Bro brother, brother, ooh. I mean, I I made it on the server earlier today. What? The thing I said I was gonna make for us. Oh. I think it applies pretty well, which is, uh, yep, there it is, right there. Yeah, yeah. Albedo saying, um, but, but to be that stupid, is it possible? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading these texts, and I'm just like, and I'm just like, brother. Ugh. Yeah, I even got a beard kind of similar to him, although he's probably been growing his beard out a lot longer than I have. Ugh. Anyway, 
But the, ooh. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, this was uh, Charlie, a.k.a. Moist Critical, a.k.a. Penguin Zero, with the worst, uh, the worst husband, or the craziest crazy husband ever. ever. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Without a doubt, the and uh, I guess until next time, everyone, signing off, I am Nate. I am Nick, and I am disturbed. I am as well. I'm leaving a like on this video. I've already, like, subscribed to Charlie, but I'll... I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.